Honestly, what I think is those hosts should apologize to their viewers and say, we're sorry that we want to impose <laughs> one ideology on all of you and anyone who differs from us is a liar. Well, Fox hosts cannot tolerate that former RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel was fired by NBC and MSNBC after on air blowback and behind the scenes blowback from NBC staffers, on air talent, producers and others. As a reminder, NBC announced we're hiring Ronna McDaniel, the former RNC chairwoman who went along with Trump's claims that the election was stolen from him, who started to participate in that scheme to generate a slate of fake electors to try to steal the election from Joe Biden. The de facto insurrectionist Ronna McDaniel was hired by MSNBC, NBC and uh, on air talent, including Chuck Todd, Rachel Maddow, the Morning Joe crew and others said uh, this is not good. She's not going to be on our show or we are against this or whatever the case may be. And ultimately, as I reported to you yesterday, NBC made the decision that she's fired, that they are going to part ways. Well, the folks over at Fox News are not happy. We'll look at a couple of different clips, including Judge Janine, Janine Pirro, saying that MSNBC hosts should apologize. Apologize for what exactly? Well, this you have to hear. Honestly, what I think is those hosts should apologize to their viewers and say, we're sorry that we want to impose <laughs> one ideology on all of you and anyone who differs from us is a liar. Wait a second. MSNBC should apologize for wanting to impose only one ideology on their viewers. That's Fox News's business model. Oh, but David, they have Jessica Tarlov on the five. Yes, it's a 24 hour news network and they do have Democratic strategist Jessica Tarlov on the five for one hour a day, five days a week. Irony is dead. And remember, it's not about ideology. Voices on MSNBC and NBC that believe we need less government regulation appear all the time. Voices that believe we need less taxation or that the U.S. should be the world's policemen around the world or whatever. Those voices are welcome. Ronna McDaniel is not someone with whom we disagree about the top tax rate. She played a critical role in putting together the fake elector slates to try to defraud the tens of millions of Americans who voted for Joe Biden. Then we go to Greg Gutfeld. Greg Gutfeld says it's all so bad and they should be ashamed of themselves for firing Ronna McDaniel didn't contact McDaniel about the decision to ax her. And she only found out with the rest of the world through media reports. Greg, um, what is going on over there? This is why people love mocking the media. It's because of their blind spots. And all <laughs> these people have this one giant blind spot about themselves. They're mean girls. That's all they are. They're mean girls who failed up. The joy and thrill over ejecting an outsider, it's no different than a group of cheerleaders, you know, targeting some nerdy girl because she doesn't dress as well as they do. Spiritually, they're ugly, and they did this because she was different. It's what? a class thing, you know, dressed up as a difference of opinion, but it's a class thing. You can see it. The children won. Understand how absurd and pathetic these analogies are. Mean girls. It's about class. It's a what is Greg Gutfeld talking about? And by the way, I know Greg Gutfeld's a comedian. I don't know if this is maybe this is a comedy skit that I just don't understand or that fails to be funny. And think about why uh, Mc, McDaniel was hired. The adults in the room knew that this insurrection thing was a puffed up lie. And so they wanted opinion different from the prevailing hysteria in their uh. newsrooms. So they just basically wanted a different perspective. And the children threw a tantrum. They thought they were being Jerry Maguire, but they're more like Jerry Springer. <laughs> it's like Lord of the Flies meets daytime TV. The, the, wow, these analogies and metaphors are really falling flat. But. I wouldn't be that cocky if I were Chuck or Joe or Mika or Joy, because look what happened to Don Lemon. After getting the boot from X, he did his own show and it flatlined. He, no one is watching him. So what does that tell you about him and other mediocrities like Chuck and so on, that they actually have no natural audience? You remove the NBC platform and they're gone. By the way. If Gutfeld was pulled off Fox News and started a podcast, 
Would anyone listen to that? I don't know that this is a great argument in defense of what he's doing. Uh, you tell me if I'm wrong. You know, Rachel has a career outside, but the rest, they're as replaceable as contestants on The Bachelor. You can't even remember their names because they just serve a purpose. And again, it's another example of how rather than competing with any kind of, I don't know, prevailing a, a, a different opinion or a perspective, whether it's in elections or speech. Or All right. So you get it. They are pretending like NBC just doesn't want different opinions. Different opinions appear on NBC all the time. The revolt was because this is a borderline unindicted co-conspirator in an attempt to defraud the country and install a candidate who didn't win as president of the United States. These are not mere differences of opinion. Howard Kurtz also saying, why not let Rana up there and express her occasional pro Trump views? That's all this is. And so I have to think. What, whatever McDaniel's baggage, what would have been the great harm in allowing her to occasionally express pro-Trump views? What is MSNBC protecting its audience from? Remember, this is the network that boasts about not taking many Trump speeches uh, on primary right. nights, caucus nights, courthouse appearances, because, you know, he's only going to start lying. They don't get it. They don't get it. This is not about her views or her opinions. This is not about dissent. This is not about any of it. And by the way, the people at Fox acting as if Fox is filled with Democrats with different opinions. It's like, uh, you know, Jessica Tarlov, occasionally Harold Harold Ford Jr. is up there. But it's not like they are putting these voices up on anything approximating equal footing. So they are in a glass house and throwing stones. They don't understand the difference between Let's have a disagreement about tax rates versus I tried to install the guy who lost as president undemocratically. And MSNBC and NBC ultimately made this decision. It's not a free speech issue. It's not a First Amendment issue. It is, by the way, something Fox News usually is in favor of, which is a business deciding what's best for them. And they decided. Today's sponsor, Ground News, is an app and website that quickly shows you how news is being covered across the political spectrum, adding context and making it easy to understand the polarizing events like the election season that we're in. If you're watching this on YouTube, Donald Trump and Joe Biden secured their party's nominations for a historic presidential rematch. So I'll be looking at Ground News's election page for minute to minute updates on the issues that matter most and the blind spots in the left and right's election coverage. So, for example, check out the breakdown on why the GOP's Biden impeachment appears to be falling apart. Ground News found more than 20 articles published on this, but I can see it's a near total blind spot for people only following right leaning news. I wonder why. And looking over here, Many of these articles come from reliable sources with each giving me some new detail and reading their summary of this from each political viewpoint really just gets me up to speed in seconds on any issue. So make separating fact from noise easier this election by going to ground.news slash Pacman. My viewers get 40 percent off their unlimited access vantage plan, making it just five dollars a month. The link is down below.